No, because me, I'm beating my kids. The second they talk back, <laughs> bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Making massa <myself> proud. <laughs> what? Making massa <myself> proud. <laughs> what does that even mean? No, I was just saying like, you were continuing his family tradition of beating black bodies into submission. <laughs> no, beating kids is funny. We were all just laughing. I bet you they were beating kids in Africa too before anybody got there. Well, there's actually no historical or anthropological evidence of ritualistic physical discipline in pre-colonial West African societies, so. You'd be wrong. No, it's not even about all that. Like they say it's okay to do it in the Bible. You know who else used that defense? Nah. You made it weird. You, you gotta go. Oh. Well. I'll just say this. In 30 years, after your children have been born and you've done what you say you're gonna do, and you go to them and you say, why don't you talk to me anymore? And they bring up the fact that you beat them over spilling juice or getting in trouble at school. I want you to remember this moment where you sat here and when you fantasized about your future children, instead of being at their games and recitals, instead of walking them across the stage at graduation or down the aisle, you fantasize about holding them down and beating them. So you can tell them you didn't want to do it. You can tell them you did it out of love. You can tell them it hurt you more than it hurt them. But I want you to remember that you sat here and you fantasized, practically salivating over the very idea of it. And you laugh.